today with Sebastian in his new generation 9.5. I've been dying to do a review on a new generation 9.5 for however long you guys have been telling me to do a review on a new generation 9.5 for ages. So finally, here we are. How long have you had this car? It's been a little bit over a year and a half now. And have you liked it so far? You got any complaints? No, I honestly, this is for my third Saab I've owned and for my second V6 Saab. I gotta say it's probably one of the most reliable ones I've ever owned. So this has the B284 motor. Yep. It's got 300 horsepower from stock, but you have a map tune tune on it, right? Yes, stage one, so it bumps it up to that 330 horsepower. Nice. Carrying an air filter, can't go wrong with that. Right. So have to help it breathe a little bit better. Um, that's about it, dude. How about your exhaust? <laughs> my exhaust, yeah. So my exhaust, I just did a straight pipe, uh, straight back from the flex pipe. It sounds pretty good. It sounds exactly like the other Saab V6s. All of them, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's the exact that, um, same motor, so you know. <laughs> yeah, it's either if you cut off a cat or if you keep a cat or if you cut off a resonator, you keep a resonator, depends on what it's gonna sound like, pretty right. much. But I think it sounds really good. We're cru we've been cruising about 30, 40 miles an hour this whole time, and it's it doesn't drone, but you get on a little bit and it, you know, You'll hear it. It sounds pretty good. It's what you need for a 9.5. Not exactly. too much, but just enough to give you a little entertainment during the drive. Right, you don't want to ruin the, uh, you don't want to ruin the luxury feel of this car. And, exactly. And exactly. it's, despite having the Tesla turbines on it, these 21 inches, right? Yeah, big old 21. <laughs> it's a fact. It, it still rides pretty well. I mean, you can feel it over little bumps, yeah. you know? And yeah. that's that's just the big wheels. That's not the car's fault. So response-wise and everything, how is it? Uh, it seems like the transmission is a little bit hesitant to, right. uh, to downshift, mm -hmm. but if you get on it, you know, just a little bit more, you know, once that turbo spools up, It'll it's, what it's, it's it pretty do. good, yeah. yeah. It's definitely not a slow car. I mean, it's a big car. It, it doesn't, but driving it, it doesn't feel like a big car, but when you look at it, you're like, yeah. damn, that's a big car. Yeah, it's a yacht. And then once you drive it, you're kind of like, oh, it, it picks up, it's a, it's, a, it's a big one. So this is the V6, like yeah. we've already talked about, but it's a linear trim. It's the linear trim, yeah. I did not know that that existed. I just assumed yeah. that all V6s were arrows. Yep, so there's a turbo four, and then there's the Turbo 6. Which is what this is. Yep, and okay. then there's the Turbo 6 Aero Premium. Okay, so yep. this also has cross-wheel drive on it, so it's got the same engine and for the most part the same drivetrain as my Turbo X. Same Haldex unit, you just have a little ELSD Yeah, attachment. I just have the ELSD. The Aeros came with the ELSD, but the yep. Linear or the Turbo 6 did. Base model, yep, okay. you don't get that nice little extra extra yeah the basic a little so. extra spice yeah I get, the, I get the wood trim I get the you know the old school and then the arrows get that nice slate cold gray look or whatever gets that extra bumper and the dual exit exhaust yep, and yep that man that that diffuser bro is amazing oh it looks good now, let's talk about the looks of this car because this is a 2010 right 2011 actually 2011 yep, okay it's got the, I, thought, uh, sunroof. I thought it was a 2010 nope so yeah so it's got the panoramic sunroof also which is i mean it's amazing yep but for being a car that now when it was new was eight or nine years old mm -hmm. i'm just amazed at how these new generation 95s and 94x2 they still look new exactly and they're this they're this old it's, People are copying the looks of these cars till this day. It's it's amazing how Saab, you know, because at this point, if Saab were still around, I actually just kind of talked about this in my recent video. Yeah, of course. But if Saab were still around, this car would be on its way out. A new 95 would be coming out. But oh. It still looks new. Most definitely. It's ama day. I'm amazed. Mm. Now, of course, it lacks in the technology department, but any car back then in 2010 was, you know, on this. Yeah, exactly. These were these they were kind of the leading in it at the time they were doing it all, but they did. I really like the uh, the little heads up display you've got too. It's, it's addicting. It's all I use now. I don't a, even look at the speedometer. Yeah, it's a little bit distracting because I'm tr I'm looking at it and then I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh shit, I need to look up at the road because yeah. you're kind of like almost looking down at it. But yeah, pretty I much. I think once you get used to it, it's definitely a really nice feature to have. I mean, I'm not looking at the gauges at all here. No, exactly. You're also taller too, so you right. can I you just can put that heads up. To, yep, you can put the heads up display up and down. For it being such a big car, I'm not someone who likes big cars like trucks and SUVs necessarily. I haven't driven many trucks or SUVs, yep. but 
for being as big as it is, for being a big sedan, it doesn't really feel much bigger than my Turbo X or any 9.3. I mean, like I said, it, it obviously is a much bigger car, but it doesn't feel like it's like it's huge. No, it still gets up and out of its way when it needs to. Right out of first gear, it gets up and going like no problem. Right, so, so this is a six-speed auto in it. All yes. the V6 new generation 9.5s came with the automatic. Unfortunately, they didn't offer the manual, but the four-cylinder 9.5s, the new generation, did come with a manual. Yep. Yep. Which is, I mean, just imagine owning a car like this with a six-speed manual. I just think that's freaking awesome. It's, uh, <laughs> it'd be awesome, but they are rare. Right. Super rare. Speaking of rarity, there's only about 3,000 new generation 9.5s in the U.S. I don't know about yep. worldwide. So 3,500 exact about in the U.S. and only 22 Arctic Whites. So you've got a pretty rare color to say the least. And white sobs, white cars in general just look so good. They look amazing. Great Stormtrooper look to them. And, and you've got the precise. roof wrapped black too. And I do have the roof wrap vinyl three millimeter or three M uh, vinyl wrap It black. contrasts so well. I think it looks amazing. Thank you, it does. It does look <laughs> a lot. I'm, uh, I was gonna try and do black wheels or something, but I don't know if I really wanna get all I think it looks wheels. good with the silver. It does. It, it, it has a good contrast to it. For this car being a luxury car, it's supposed to be a big, comfortable, luxury cruiser. I mean, I have to say, even with the 20 inch, 21 inch wheels, it, it rides very well. I mean, we're not on the best paved road right now, but we are it kind of just cruises over these little potholes and whatnot, and it's it does. It's, it's really nice. But let's see how this thing feels when you get on it here. Coming on to a little straight. There's not really much aftermarket stuff out here for the new generation 9.5, but it's, it's really not. I'm sure you know. Yeah. You've done your research it's, trying to find yeah, stuff. Yeah, it gets me sad thinking about it. <laughs> yes, Get cross. some stuff out of Buicks or other GM cars, which is yep. a nice benefit of being a GM sob. It most definitely is because people, you get those mechanics or anything like that, or those people that are like, oh, they're unreliable or parts that are hard to come by. In all honesty, if you really care to look, you can find them. For the new generation 9.5, this isn't for all sobs because one thing, yeah. you know, I've thought about what if I got an NG 9.5 as a daily and the thing that would scare me is parts availability. But like you said, there's a lot of stuff that's shared with other GM products. Yep. But the thing that does concern me is stuff like body panels. So mm -hmm. it, I, you mentioned, I know a big thing that 9.5 owners have talked about is the LED light bar in the back. Yep. And finding one of those new is just about damn near impossible. Near but impossible, that's 100%. There are sites out there that repair them and there are ways that you can repair them. You actually repair this one yourself, yep. right? Yep, that's, that's, that's a true fact. Um, <laughs> and I forgot who, and I feel terrible because the member off the Facebook Good group right here. Um, that I got the light bar kit off of, the rebuild kit, um, I forgot his name, but he actually made them. Uh, and I bought all the sets off of him for both my dad and I's uh, nine fives and we both rebuilt them. Uh, we have all working through brake lights, uh, turn signals, and light bars. So, speaking of your dad, you guys have quite the uh, a little sob collection at your house, bigger than what my family has. Yes. So just, you wanna yeah. just run by real quick everything that you have? Yes, of course. So, for our sob fleet, um, we started with the ARCs and we moved up. We just pretty much have now a Vigan, Turbo X. Oh, you've got a Vigan. I didn't know you had a Vigan. Yeah, that was one of the new members. But we have two NG95s, me and my dad's, and then we have my brother's Combi 2008, uh, Arc Combi, and then we have the uh, we have also a 9.3 Cabriolet 2006 Cabriolet V6. Um, so you've the, got a little yeah. bit of everything in terms of like new new subs. Yeah, yeah. We don't have any super OGs. Right. or anything like that except the Vigan which is probably I think the oldest one that we have yeah that's the oldest one we have and it's still not really that old it's 2003 or 2002 I think interior wise you do have uh, the GM the cheap GM interior but honestly yeah it's yeah okay it's people like the shit on it and the peeling buttons is really the only complaint that I have <laughs> about GM interiors. Yeah. Which for the NG95s, that's got to be a pain in the butt to yep. find replacements for. But uh, besides that, I mean, the, it's not it's not terrible. It's really 
for what for being a GM plastic interior, it's not bad. The seats, I find them very comfortable. I absolutely yeah. love this steering wheel. The look of it alone is absolutely amazing, but it feels very nice to drive or to just I don't know hold. get your hands on. Yeah, feel just, it. just yeah. get my hands on. Just feel up the steering yeah. wheel. Feels great. Like we said, the heads-up display was pretty nice. This doesn't have the optional nav, but it, it's got it's got a lot of stuff. And for a daily driver, even by today's standards, it's it, you can't count it out. I think it's still a great car, especially the prices that some of these are going for now. No, it has plenty. It's got all of the options that you need to the parking assist. There. Yeah, <laughs> so it's got it's got the more technology than it was far ahead of its time uh, when it was being built, and so it's got everything the Aero. <laughs> It has the Turbo 6 Aero, it's got everything it has except the ventilated seats, the back rear entertainment system, and the nav. So it's just lacking three things, which is not right, that bad. And then the exterior stuff, which we already the talked exterior about. exterior stuff, yeah. The steering. I just noticed how light the steering is. Yes. We have uh, some older 9.5s, like kind of like the original 9.5, like the 2004, 2005 area 9.5s. Right. And the steering on those is incredibly light, and the steering on this is just just as light i mean it's it's amazing the 9.3 especially my turbo x the steering seems a lot heavier not like heavy to the point where it's got a problem but it's definitely much heavier than, yeah it than feels this. weighted kind of yeah yeah i know what you're talking about and i think for what this car is i much prefer the super light steering it's much just more relaxing to drive and i think it helps uh add on with the luxury taste of the vehicle you're just kind of cruising along with the feel of the ride. right it's a great cruiser oh yeah 100%. On that note, we're going to end this video, guys. Maybe he'll be back for more videos in his other sobs. Oh, of I don't course. Know. We'll see. Maybe one on the stage four. Oh, that would be, yeah, that would be fun. Some so, launches in that. Yeah. So, with that being said, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you all next time.